Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us again today. We're going to do something a little different. Uh, we're going to do a, a headlight kit. We're going to be using one of our, our sets we sell on the site. It's just a, a factory headlight kit. We're going to put it in the roll along here today. All right, so tools. A Phillips screwdriver, quarter inch ratchet, deep, um, 11 millimeter. Um, I have come across a few that are 10 millimeter, but 90% of the time they're 11 millimeter. This comes from my construction days. It's just a 5 16 nut driver, bit driver. Um, I've just got a right angle impact that's kind of what I like to use. We'll get into it. We'll go over here to the mock-up and kind of show everybody what's going on. All right, so we got um, just a core support set up here with the you know grill and headlights kind of mounted into it. What there is, you've got screws along the top and there's a screw down here in the middle for the grill. Once you get those out, the grill will pop out. The only way to get this bezel off is you've got two screws up here on top and then there's two hidden nuts back behind. Um, you're gonna have to reach down behind your battery. Here's one of them, the other one's right here. We are missing, there is another piece of sheet metal here that attaches the fender that's missing from this mock-up. But anyway, the, these are the two hidden nuts that are back in there and there's there's two on each side. We're gonna get started here on the roll along and uh, you know we'll kind of bounce back and forth with the mock-up and, and see exactly what's going on. We're gonna get started by Removing our grill, removing all these top screws, these roll-alongs. This is one of roll-along signatures, is this grill. These uh, two fog lights cut into it. We've got all our top screws out of the grill. If you have a factory grill, you're gonna have one right here in the middle. Um, you're gonna have two screws on the top of the headlight bezels. Once you get all those out, and then we can dive in from the backside, um, get to these smaller nuts that are hidden back in there. There's one. All right, there's my other one. Now, that bezel will slide straight out. And do your light sockets. Uh, be very careful on these. Um, these light sockets have a gasket on them. We don't know of a replacement yet. We're working on that. So just try to make sure they stay intact when you pull them out. All right, this is where this comes into play. Like I say, this is just a 5 16 nut driver. These bolts are just eight millimeters. So 5 16. You're gonna have two going into each fender. Gonna have one right here, one in the middle, all right, this is where everything gets exciting. There's two right in here on the side on each side. So after that happens, your header panel is ready to come out. So it, it, it takes a little bit of work to get these out. Um, I usually just work one side. Another thing that helps out is if you stick your light harnesses back through, the top side marker light generally has orange tape marking the harness. So that's your that's your top one. All right, so we just start on one side. It takes a little bit of manipulation to get this guy out of here. But once it releases, the rest of it comes out pretty easy. All right, before we get into that header panel and the headlights, um, we're gonna put our new lights in here in the in the bezels. You'll have three screws holding your turn bar in. And then don't lose these little bolts. They're kind of a funky little bolt, so pretty hard to replace. And then there's also a strap that ties everything together. So once you're done with that. Old side marker, old turn bar comes out. All right, so when I'm putting in 
the new assemblies i like i like to leave these uh covers on until i get absolutely 100 percent ready to install the light socket i've already got the passenger side done um we're gonna do the driver's side i'm gonna show you a little a few little tips and tricks here try to alleviate some of the issues you may be having all of this stuff is aftermarket these oem light kits are unobtainium anymore plus you're looking at probably close to four or five hundred bucks just for the headlights if you can find them we have spent a lot of time researching and getting the best possible sets we can for you guys in in the aftermarket we're going to do a few little things to help just to help alignment out a little bit better like i say the products we're selling are, are the best we can absolutely find when you are installing these light these turn bars um, be mindful of these screw holes um, as you can see they might not line up exactly 100 percent kind of manipulate them whatever however you need to to get the screw in there and get started and all our stuff has got a warranty on defects so i've noticed a lot of these um, side marker lights when they actually fit in there and it's just the manufacturing process in my opinion they they fit a little too far in on the top um, I like to bring it out a little bit to help line it up. And all that takes is a quarter inch washer. So you can bring your bolt in through the backside, throw a washer on there, and that's gonna help give you that space you need to make it line up. Man, it's hot today, Caleb. All right, now before I tighten everything down, I like to flip it up and check my alignment all the way around. You do have a little bit of adjustment on these. Um, you know, you may just need to loosen these up and you have a little bit of adjustment in that light before you tighten those down. So um, I like to get it where I'm comfortable with it and then cinch them down. This seems kind of weird, but my favorite holder for this header panel is a trash can. Holds it up nice, um, gives you access to both ends. All right, so we have these little uh, clips here for the headlight retainers. They're just a spring clip, two little fingers that grab the notches of these uh, adjustment um snap ring pliers spread them out a little bit screwdriver they'll pop right out don't muscle them out with the snap ring pliers you don't want to overspring them um, if you do need replacements we we have them on the site caleb can throw a link to them in there uh, make sure when you pull this last one you've got i've got my knee holding up the uh headlight itself so once you get those out your headlight will drop through do the same thing on the other side All right, so got our new headlight assembly here ready to go in. Pretty much just the way you pulled it out. Make sure your adjustment goes up through this hole. There's a little gap that it fits in. Um, and then your alignment pins will come right back in. Slide your retainers back in. Sometimes you might need to use your pliers, be careful. And we'll repeat that on the other side. All right, so headlights in, clips are in, everything's ready to go. We're ready to put the header panel back on the course port. Once again, when you're uh, dealing with this header panel, you just kind of have to get it worked in there. It will pop in, just be careful with it. Um, there are two alignment pins coming out of the fender to help you out there, so.
Now we're gonna kinda fine tune these bezels once we put them in. There are a little, couple little shimming things we can do. And it's all about where these studs are mounted on the back of these new turn bars. You know, it, in the manufacturing, if that stud's a little shorter than it was factory, when you pull this in, it's gonna pull this bezel in further. Um, same thing on the other side. So what I like to do is line up with this lower bumper balance or upper bumper balance, I mean. Um, so when you put it in there, check your fitment against that. And to me, that looks like it's in a little way. So what we'll do is put a quarter inch washer in behind there and that'll help bring that out flush. And actually, I think I'm kind of liking it the way it is. So anyhow, uh, we'll just go with that. But first thing, before I go any further, I'm gonna bring this headlight out to where I'm flush with this bezel as I'm holding this bezel in place. I wanna bring the face of the headlight out flush with you know, the face of my turn bar, face of my clearance light, and face of my bezel. That'll help us down the road when we're doing our final adjustment for, for our light. Before we go any further, you know, putting everything in permanent. All right, so as we can tell, we need to bring that headlight out. So you're gonna get in here in your adjustment screws. Counterclockwise is gonna bring it out. Um, so you have your top right, top left, and then this adjustment screw that comes out is what brings the bottom of the headlight up. So I'm just holding that bezel in place, bringing that light out to where it's flush. And I like it. Now, I've uh, pulled the passenger battery out. Right now is a good time to check all your bulbs. A couple of these are virtually, with my fat hands, impossible to get to without pulling um, the whole headlight assembly apart. So right now is a good time to either upgrade to LEDs, um, change out your bulbs to halogens, whatever, whatever your preference is. We'll reach in here and turn on the lights. So we've got all our park lights. Turned on my turn signal. I've got turn signal, so. You know, everything's working at the moment. We've got both sides. We've got all our park lamps. Turn signals are all working. We've got everything adjusted, um, verified that all our lights are working. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back in now. Make sure your gaskets are all in good shape. I would say that 95% of the time when we get a call about headlights and whether they're leaking or, or something else, it's because those gaskets have failed or missing or, or something like that. I'm just gonna throw these top screws in loosely just to kind of hold it in place. I don't know if you guys use these or not. It's called a magnetic finger. It's just a little finger glove and it has a magnet on the end of it. My uh, mother sent me these. Kudos for my mother. Not only did she give birth to a legend, she's full of good ideas. Or as my family says, a legend in his own mind. So, which I'm good with that. I know there's a lot riding on it, but it's all psychological. All right, so now we're gonna adjust the headlights. Got every, they got the door shut down here so we can see the lights. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn the headlights on. This is where your adjustment screw comes into play. One way is gonna bring it down, other way is gonna bring it up, as you can see on the door. So I like it to come down a little bit. So I'm gonna bring it on down, I'm liking that. And now we're on the passenger side doing the same thing. Uh, bring it up a little bit down I think I like that check our brights see how they look uh, they're just standard lights so I'm actually gonna bring that driver's side down a little bit anyway there we go um, we'll turn the lights back on and get the grill put in and we'll be done All right, guys, so I'm just gonna finish putting this battery in here. I hope this helped out some of you. Like I said, I, I feel we have the best aftermarket ones out there. If you guys got any questions, drop them in the comments. We're gonna be doing the ashtray fix here in the next day or two. We finally got all our parts for the rear door assembly on the crew cabs. I think next week we're gonna do some uh, rear door lock actuators, window motors, hinge pins, that kind of stuff. Tune in next time. And thanks for joining us today.